Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you're here today because it's time for another episode of Run the USA. If you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss the rest of this series or any of the other running content that I have coming out all the time. The Run the USA series is where I take a look state by state of the most highly recommended races from runners just like you. I go onto different forums, I go onto different review websites, I look around, I ask around, and I compile all that information and bring it here to you so that if you are planning a running vacation sometime, then you have some options that you can look at if you would like to run a race in another place or maybe one nearby that you didn't know about. I'm going to have a link up here to the rest of the series so that you can catch up on what you've missed so far, but for today we're going to move ahead with the state of Idaho. One thing that I have learned about Idaho is that you love your distance races. We're going to take a look at everything from 5K all the way up to marathon, and we're gonna look at some trails and some ultras. But one thing that I definitely notice is that the longer the race, the better as far as Idaho is concerned. But let's start off with the 5K category. We'll start with the Run the Big Dogs 5K held in Pocatello in April. Run with the Big Dogs was started in 1997 as a way to raise funds to help the Pocatello Animal Shelter get a much needed new building. In February 2015, with the help of the citizens of Pocatello, that goal was met. However, all involved with Run with the Big Dogs had so much fun, they decided to continue to hold the event annually. All funds raised by the event are used for local animals and animal advocacy organizations in addition to those that are temporarily housed at the Pocatello Animal Shelter, which directly benefit through programs such as the Second Chance Fund, Pocatello Pets for Vets, and Katie's Old Friends. Run with the Big Dogs is a 2K walk run or a 5K run. Registrants may walk or run with or without a dog or in memory of a beloved pet. Pre-registrants receive a t-shirt and a doggy bag of freebies. Dogs who participate receive a bandana. Looking at the 10K races, we'll start with the Goose Creek Runoff held in Oakley in July. All proceeds from the Goose Creek Runoff benefit the Oakley Recreation District, a nonprofit entity that was created to maintain and manage recreational activities for the benefit of the entire Oakley Valley. The course follows a scenic winding road from above the dam, across the Goose Creek drainage and into town, ending at the Oakley City Park. The 5K course is the last half of the 10K course. All 10K and 5K participants will receive a free breakfast and a deluxe t-shirt. Next is the Crater Crawl, held in Mountain Home in September. Participants will run or hike a challenging 10K course that takes them around the Crater Rings, a unique site featuring one of the very few examples of volcanic pit craters in the continental United States and recognized as a national natural landmark. The race course follows a jeep road to the top of the shield volcano, then around the crater rings. Be prepared for some strenuous ups and downs. Adding to the challenge will be the desert heat, which is certain to conjure up images of the crater's ancient lakes of molten lava. Relief comes in the way of three hydration stations located along the course. The first at 2.1 miles, the second at 3.4 miles, and the third at 5.1 miles. Despite the challenges, this event is meant for anyone who might enjoy a supported outing in a very unique volcanic setting, whether you're a competitive trail runner, casual hiker, or anything in between. All finishers receive a commemorative shirt. If you're ready to take on the half marathon, try the Jackass Half Marathon in 5K held in Kellogg in October. Come run on the paved trail that starts in historic Wallace and ends in Uptown Kellogg. The half marathon and 5K race courses are point to point and mostly downhill, so they're the perfect experience for beginners and a fast course for competitive runners. Each participant of the half marathon and the 5K receives an official Jackass t-shirt at the finish line, a token for a free beer or soft drink from Radio Brewing Company, a custom design medal, a bag full of local coupons, and access to your race time with video finish by Negative Split Timing Company. Those looking for an especially scenic half marathon can try the Falls to Falls Half Marathon held in Twin Falls in April. Run along with the Snake River's breathtaking scenery, famous landmarks, and waterfalls while raising funds to enhance the Magic Valley community. The half marathon and 5K start and finish at the famous Niagara of the West, Shoshone Falls. The 10K starts at the Twin Falls namesake waterfall and finishes at Shoshone Falls Park. There's also a one mile kids run. The event is entirely put on by volunteers. 100% of the proceeds go towards enhancing community projects in Magic Valley. This year, proceeds will go towards local trail improvement projects to better everyone's outdoor experience. 
The course routes are mostly along paved asphalt with some hilly sections towards the waterfalls and downhill finishes. All finishers will receive a swag bag with a finisher's medal and goodies from local businesses. Are you ready to take on a full marathon? Try the Teton Dam Marathon held in Rexburg in June. Runners from all over the country will be in Rexburg, Idaho on the first Saturday in June to participate in the Teton Dam Marathon and races. On June 5, 1976, the collapse of the Teton River Dam unleashed a savage flood which caused $500 million in damage, took 11 lives, and made thousands homeless in Wilford, Sugar City, Rexburg, Salem, Hibbard, Firth, Blackfoot, and Roberts. This tragedy was turned into triumph by the victims' own faith and courage and by an outpouring of aid by many volunteers from Idaho and nearby states. For this reason, over a thousand runners flood the streets to take on their own personal challenge of running a marathon. The races include a marathon, half marathon, relay, 10K, 5K, and kids race. The Teton Dam Marathon and Races take place every year around the anniversary of the breaking of the Teton Dam. Entry fee includes a race shirt, finisher's medal, bib number, disposable time chip, and swag bag. Next is the famous Idaho Potato Marathon held in Boise in May. They have a distance that works for everyone. Marathon, half marathon, 10K, and 5K. This race showcases the Boise River and all of its beauty. You can run on tree-lined shaded paths with the sound of the river encouraging you along. The courses are flat and fast, and the marathon is a Boston qualifier course and is USATF certified. You run along the Boise River and Greenbelt through historical Warm Springs Avenue in East Boise. Water stations are available every two miles along the course. Finishers receive a shirt and medal. Next is the Mesa Falls Marathon held in Ashton in July. The Mesa Falls Marathon and Half Marathon races are point-to-point -point courses that begin in the National Forest near the headwaters of the Warm River and end in the city of Ashton, Idaho. Due to the geographic location and proximity to Yellowstone National Park, a wide variety of wildlife reside in the area, including elk, deer, moose, bison, cougars, wolves, and bears. The race committee makes every attempt to clear the race course of unofficial entries prior to the race. However, recognizing that wildlife may not always follow the course rules, there may be four-legged bandits on the course at any point. The marathon features a blend of running surfaces from blacktop to packed trail and offers views of the Teton Mountains and Mesa Falls. Entry fee includes a long sleeve tech shirt, a finisher's medallion, bus transportation to the start, and a huckleberry milkshake at the finish line. Another great marathon is the Pocatello Marathon held in Pocatello in September. With the perks of a big race, but from the personal touches of a small race, the Pocatello Marathon continues to receive great reviews from experienced marathoners. It's well organized with a lot of swag and friendly aid stations. Aid stations have it all from standard water, Powerade, Band-Aids, oranges and bananas, to extras like Power Bar Energy Gel, Vaseline, Ibuprofen, and hard candy. You also won't want to miss the party at the finish line. Finish Line Party is called Marafest and includes free showers, massages, delicious food, kids activities, and the awards ceremony. And did I mention free beer? That's right, each participant receives a free beer at the finish line. All participants will receive a shirt, medal, and duffel bag. Maybe you're ready to take on a trail challenge. Why not get a group together to run to Bone and Back, held in Idaho Falls in June. The Tabone and Back 40 mile relay, ultra marathon, and five mile run is a very unique running experience. The majority of participants are runners in eight person relay teams. Each runner carries the bone baton for a five mile leg and then hands it off to the next teammate. If you're feeling adventurous, you can run the entire distance yourself or just choose to run one five mile leg. This is a very challenging race and to those who participate know it means a lot to say, I ran to bone and back. The race is fully supported with water stations every 2.5 miles. Ultramarathoners have sports drink, energy gel packs, pretzels, gummy bears, and fruit available every five miles. You can also check out the Palisades Ultra Trail series held around Irwin in July. Run a half marathon, 50K, 50 miler, or 100 miler in the pristine Palisades wilderness of Idaho and Wyoming, where the only thing that matches the beauty you will see is the challenge you will face. These races are known for being as beautiful as they are difficult. All courses are well marked and each race extremely organized. Come see why runners have given this series rave reviews for years. And finally, this one came with a lot of recommendations, the Spitfire Ultra, held in Idaho Falls in April. 
Every participant becomes a spitfire as you flow up, around, and over the volcano and experience the views of the Tetons, depending on the weather, the sand dunes, nearby mountain ranges, the winding Snake River, and more. With approximately 6,500 feet of elevation in the 55K course, Spitfire is the perfect way to shake off those sloggy winter legs and prep for the vert of summer races with a variety of surfaces, sand, rocks, dirt, and technical footing. Dance on the rims and in the belly of the world's large tufted volcanoes with supportive race environments and amazing volunteer staff that care about your journey. And there you have it. Those are the most recommended races from people that I have talked to in the state of Idaho. Have you run any of these before? Do any of these interest you? Why don't you let me know down in the comments below. Also coming up next in the series, we'll be taking a look at the state of Illinois. If you've run any races in the state of Illinois that you'd like me to know about, be sure to drop those in the comments as well. You can also give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help us find more runners who wanna hang out here in the Geek Den. This is your second reminder to make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss the rest of this series. You can also check me out on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so glad that you could join me and I can't wait to see you next time. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. See you guys later.